I got involved with this project um, after I had a very lengthy dinner with uh, Rob and Jeffrey, the directors. And I saw they had a massive book of, of, of material, like just so much research on Linda and so many photographs. And um, they just had a perfect vision. They wanted to tell it from her point of view, which I loved. And once I got, you know, I, I grasped really what her reality was. I've never had so much fun filming before and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we were back in the 70s for a couple months. The approach was more just just getting the essence because really that's just the mo most important thing and if you don't have the essence then you have nothing even if you have the color the, the hair color and the eye color and the lipstick and the freckles like it's not going to do any do you any good if you're not her. It was important for me to validate everything that she went through because because it's told from her point of view I mean I just want to give her justice. Like I'd want to make her happy, and obviously she's passed away. But I, the support of her family is is really important, and we have that support, and it means the world. We added a little drama just to get the point across, I think, which is what we always do. But this is definitely not a fictional tale at all. It's just completely real life um, telling of someone's experience. I learned that Linda is really, was so unbelievably patient and understanding of people's judgments and, and really just, God, she was just kind of stoic in a way, which is so hard to understand when you're watching people just throw stuff at her, like just completely um, throw her under the bus and, 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 and insult her and, and question every move she makes and everything she says. It's so frustrating. But she she comes out of it with so much understanding for these people and 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 so much love and it's just it's amazing. I mean she what what amazes me about her also is that she always wanted the white picket fence and children and a happy marriage. That's all she was ever after. It doesn't matter if Rob's behind the camera and Jeffrey's at the monitor or vice versa, you're getting the same thing. Not to, not, I mean, as a whole, as whole people, they're amazing and they're different, but as directors, like, it's like whoever's there, I'll be like, oh, I have a question. I never feel like I'm not getting the right answer. I'm not getting what Jeffrey would want Rob, Rob to say. Like, they're completely in sync. Lovelace.